Yingluck Shinawat's moment of victory. Her Pur Thai party wins with a landslide in Thailand's July the 3rd election. The 44-year-old businesswoman was virtually unknown until weeks before the poll, but she played her trump card, her celebrity surname. She's the younger sister of former Prime Minister Thaksin and has even been called his clone. I don't know how much you love Thaksin, but can you share some of this love for me, his younger sister? Taksin was ousted by the military nearly five years ago and now lives abroad to avoid a jail term for corruption. But he remains hugely influential and Yingluck's election victory was seen as a win for her brother. Since he was toppled, courts have removed his other allies from power and Thailand has suffered crippling rival street protests. Faced with a divided country, Yingluck has a daunting challenge ahead. The first thing, which is very important, is how we can lead the country to reconciliation. Protests by Taksin's red shirt supporters last year ended with more than 90 dead in clashes with the army. Yingluck will have to appease both the red shirts demanding justice and the elite who detest her brother. But her party has floated the idea of an amnesty for politicians, which could herald a return for Taksin, potentially inflaming tensions. I think the issue of amnesty once again top of a Ying Lak agenda, but Ying Lak has to walk very carefully. Uh, bringing Taksin back too soon would really, you know, uh, put uh, her government into a very difficult situation. Ying Lak herself has played down suggestions of the amnesty, keeping her brother at arm's length for now. Taksin has dominated Thai politics for a decade, and it's yet to be seen if the fresh-faced new leader can step out of his shadow.